Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. In today's video, I am going to tell 10 things about Karl Marx. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Who was Karl Marx? Karl Marx was a German philosopher, economist, historian and socialist revolutionary who lived from 118 to 183. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential thinkers of the modern era and his ideas have had a significant impact on philosophy, economics, sociology and politics. Number 2. Why is Karl Marx is a hero? That being said, Many people do admire Marx for his commitment to social justice and his willingness to challenge the status quo. He recognized the ways in which capitalism had created deep inequalities and suffering for many people, and he believed that it was possible to create a more humane and democratic society. His advocacy for peaceful revolution and his efforts to organize workers and other marginalized groups have also inspired many people around the world. Number 3. How did Karl Marx change the world? Communist Manifesto Marx co-authored the Communist Manifesto with Friedrich Engels in 1848, which argued that workers should overthrow the ruling class and establish a socialist society. The ideas in the Manifesto inspired many revolutionary movements in the 20th century, including the Russian Revolution and the Chinese Revolution. Number 4. What is Karl Marx best known for? Karl Marx is best known for his contributions to political and economic theory, particularly his ideas about communism and the critique of capitalism. Marx developed a comprehensive analysis of the capitalist system and its effects on society, which he outlined in his most famous work, Des Capital. Marx's ideas were based on the belief that capitalism created a fundamental conflict between the working class and the capitalist class. He argued that this conflict would ultimately lead to the overthrow of the capitalist system and the establishment of a socialist society, where the means of production would be owned and controlled by the workers themselves. Number 5. What was Karl Marx's theory of socialism? Marx's theory of socialism called for the abolition of private ownership of the means of production and their transfer to the workers themselves. He believed that this would allow for the creation of a more equal and just society, where the means of production were controlled democratically by the workers themselves. Marx's theory of socialism also called for the establishment of a dictatorship of the proletariat, which would serve as a transitional stage between capitalism and socialism. During this period, the working class would use state power to suppress the capitalist class and build a socialist society. Number 6. What is Marx's theory of capitalism? According to Marx, capitalism is a system of production in which the goal is the accumulation of profit. The capitalists aim to increase their profits by paying workers as little as possible and by maximizing the amount of work they can extract from them. This leads to the exploitation of workers who are forced to work long hours in poor conditions for low wages. Marx argued that capitalism generates increasing inequality as the capitalists become richer and more powerful while the working class becomes poorer and more marginalized. He believed that this inequality would ultimately lead to social and economic crisis as the working class became more conscious of their exploitation and began to demand a fairer share of the wealth they were creating. Number 7. What is Karl Marx's main theory? According to Marx's theory of historical materialism, the development of capitalism was a necessary step in the evolution of human society, but that it was also a fundamentally flawed system that would eventually be replaced by socialism. He believed that capitalism created a fundamental conflict between the capitalist class and the working class, and that this conflict would ultimately lead to the overthrow of capitalism and the establishment of a socialist society. Number 8. Why did Karl Marx like communism? Karl Marx did not simply like communism, rather, he believed that communism was the natural and necessary outcome of historical development. Marx saw communism as a way to overcome the problems of capitalism, including poverty, inequality, and exploitation. Marx saw communism as a way to eliminate the exploitation of the working class, to create a society without social classes, and to establish a society where the means of production were owned and controlled by the workers themselves. He believed that communism would create a society where the needs of all people were met, and where everyone had the opportunity to develop their full potential as human beings. 
Number 9. What were the Otto key ideas of Karl Marx? Karl Marx had a number of key ideas that shaped his political and economic theory. Here are six of his most important ideas, historical materialism, Marx believed that the history of society was shaped by the development of the means of production, which are the tools machinery and technology used to produce goods and service. Class struggle, Marx argued that society was fundamentally divided into classes, and that the history of society was driven by the conflict between these classes. In particular, he saw the struggle between the working class and the capitalist class as a key driver of historical change. Alienation, Marx believed that capitalism alienated workers from the products of their labor, from each other, and from their own humanity. He saw this alienation as a source of great social and psychological distress. Surplus value, Marx argued that capitalism generated surplus value, which is the difference between the value of the goods and services produced by workers and the wages paid to them. He saw this surplus value as the source of capitalist profit and as a form of exploitation of the working class. Communism, Marx believed that capitalism would eventually be replaced by a communist society in which the means of production would be owned and controlled by the workers themselves. In this society, he believed that there would be no classes, no exploitation and no need for a state. Dialectical materialism, Marx used the dialectical method to analyze social and economic phenomena in which he saw history as a process of contradictions and conflicts that eventually led to the resolution of those contradictions. In particular, he saw the struggle between the working class and the capitalist class as a key contradiction that would ultimately lead to the overthrow of capitalism. Number 10. How did Karl Marx died? Karl Marx died on 1883, at the age of 64 in London, England. The exact cause of his death was bronchitis and pleurisy, which are inflammation of the lungs and chest cavity. Marx had suffered from ill health for many years, and his condition had worsened in the months leading up to his death. He was buried at Highgate Cemetery in London, and his grave has become a site of pilgrimage for socialists and Marxists from around the world. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video or any suggestions for future content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.